Fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests, good evening. On behalf of Eloquent Elites Toastmasters Club, I welcome all of you to the online installation of the Executive Committee and an unthrilling education session on 3Ds of TEDx. I am Toastmaster Dr. Sumanth Mishra, and I'm pleased and privileged and proud to be your sergeant at arms for today's meeting. Let's first recall the uplifting session and the mission, mission of Toastmasters. We provide a supporting and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. In the online meeting environment, there are few housekeeping rules and policies that we must request for all of you to follow. Kindly rename yourselves to help the Zoom master spotlight you appropriately. All the role players have already been informed about how they need to re rename themselves. All Toastmasters not playing any role, kindly prefix TM to your name. All other guests, please prefix your name with guests. Kindly take 10 seconds for this activity. Kindly put your phones and other noise making devices on silent mode and remove any other distractions around you. Please take five seconds to do so. Kindly keep the audio of your phone or laptop on mute throughout the meeting and unmute your microphone only whenever you are invited to speak. Please keep your video cameras on. Our speakers feel connected and engaged when they see people's faces. Kindly avoid unnecessary movements or sipping on drinks or eating when your video is on. Please turn off the video in case you need to do so or when you have to step away. Please do not type in the general chat box when a speaker is speaking as it distracts the speaker. You may type messages to specific persons. Please use the chat on Zoom to provide feedback directly to the speaker after the speech is over. Do not click on share screen unless your speech role requires you to do so. Please share screen after informing that you are sharing screen with the permission of the chair. You can choose and display from reactions as hi or namaste or applaud when a speaker joins or leaves. If you are a speaker, kindly ensure you pin the timer or confirm that the timer screen is visible for you. Kindly note that this meeting is being recorded. Please stay back to network after the meeting. Now, coming to the second session, it's my proud privilege to introduce the presiding officer of the day, Toastmaster Girija Despande. Toastmaster Girija Despande is a blogger, writer, storyteller, translator, and professional <laughs> success. Sorry. Toastmaster Girija Despande is a blogger, writer, storyteller, translator, professional success coach, and corporate trainer. She is co-founder of this Eloquent Elites Toastmasters Club, the first Rotary Toastmaster collaborated community club in India and fifth in the world. Over to you, presiding officer, with warm applause, kindly welcome Toastmaster Girida Despandeji on this virtual, virtual platform, please. Thank you. Warm, very warm welcome indeed, Dr. Sumit Vishra. Thank you so much. It is my honor and privilege to be the president of this club. Thank you for this opportunity to serve the club. And today is going to the installation. And before we proceed, I would just like to approve the, to get your approval for us in the agenda. So can anyone propose that? Can we table the agenda? One of you, I would like one of you to propose that the agenda can be passed. Yes, Abhishek, can you do that? I think he's traveling and he's not able to hear perhaps. Yes, Dr. Sumanth, you can do it. Hi, Toastmaster Sumanth Mishra, as Sergeant of Arms, 
propose the agenda of today's meeting to proceed. Second, thank you. Uh, first, sorry. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. much. Thank you. Harish, can you unmute yourself? And second, the proposal. Hi, Abhishek Kumar. Hi, Harish Natarajan, uh, member of the Liberal Institute of Fasad Cup. Second, the adoption of an agenda. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so much. You. Now that the agenda has passed, we just go ahead with the meeting. It is my pleasure to be the presiding officer of this meeting. Installation of an ex executive committee is very important because we all know a sense of responsibility. But when a senior officer comes and inducts us, installs the committee, and gives us a note, it definitely adds a more sense of responsibility and awareness that there are people around us who are looking forward to our doing our duties with perfect um, stability and consistency throughout the year. So thank you so much, team, for accepting this role. And I welcome our special guest today, our speaker today, Venkat Sai, and also our area director, Chodi Pillai. Just before proceeding, I would just like to say, John Adams, the economist, said that when wealth accumulates, men decay. So when there is more of wealth, the people decay. Why did he say that? He said it in the context of the Industrial Revolution, when so many people, they began to specialize in one specific part of the work and there was no general awareness. He said if a pin was going to be made, somebody made the head, Somebody made the sharpened part of the pin. Somebody made the pin. And nobody knew the entire process. This happened because of industrialization. Today we are again the same juncture. Now that artificial intelligence has come in, people are really afraid that what is going to happen? Are our skills going to decay? Will people not write anymore? People not create anything anymore because artificial intelligence is going to do it. Are we going to lose the jobs? Only it means that we need to improve ourselves. And we need to focus and develop more skills so that we become better than that. Whatever natural intelligence is always better than anything that is created by a machine. So that is what he broke through. And Toastmasters emphasizes this, that every day work on your skills. Because every day we keep learning. And that is how our acumen sharpens. So today we are going to learn from our beloved speaker, Venkat Sai. And to introduce him, I hand it over the session to our Toastmaster of the day. And before that, I would like to introduce Toastmaster Sumanth Mishra. It's an honor that he has joined our club. He works as a pediatric dentist, Ministry of Health, Kuwait, since 2019. 14 years, he has been getting excellent award from the Ministry of Health's Clinical Appraisal Committee. He is acquired as a gold medalist from Delhi University in Bachelor of Dentist Surgery. And then he post-graduated and did certificate courses from the University of Helsinki, Finland. He has done master's in clinical pediatric dentistry, Queen Mary's University of London, UK. It's a wonderful university and one of our executive committee members is going to join there soon and that he will reveal later. He joined Toastmasters International, I mean Dr. Sumat Mishra, in 2021. Believe me, in just these three years, the amount of medals he has got and the achievements that he has got in Toastmasters is unbelievable. He is currently a member of three clubs. Eloquent Elite Toastmasters Club, Mangaf Communication Toastmasters Club, and American Society of Safety Professionals Kuwait Toastmasters Club. He has joined us from Kuwait. He is a PPPR in Mangaf Communicators Toastmasters Club. He has been. And PP membership also he has been. And now he is president of Mangaf Communicators Toastmasters Club. Currently, he is also an area director of from India 31 this year. And he has also accepted the role of Sadhguru Towns in our club. You are an inspiration. Proud to hand over the mantle to you, Dr. Sumit Mishra. Thank you very much, our inspiring Toastmaster Girija Ji. You are like a mentor for all of us, striving hard day in, night out, 
with all those inspirational words and leading by example. So we learned from you, all of you. And now, without much ado, I would like to do the brief introduction of our keynote speaker, Toastmaster Venkat Sai. Toastmaster Venkat Sai came to our club to support the as playing a meeting role as a grammarian. He was also a table topic speaker. His simple and straightforward style, delightful and dynamic approach stole our hearts. When he told us that he was a TEDx speaker, we decided to invite him. Venkat Sai is a law student infused with indomitable will to fight for the marginalized communities. He has authored a book on human trafficking, which received Golden Book Award in 2023. He is an environment activist and Toastmaster. Friends, today's theme is diversity, equity, and inclusion. Diversity is acknowledging and embracing people from a variety of backgrounds. Equity is identifying and removing barriers that prevent individuals and groups from losing their rights to resources. And inclusion is welcoming differences, listening to different perspectives and making sure everyone feels included and has a sense of belonging. Toastmas is a forum where people of all, all nations region, religion, race, ideologies, professions, physical and intellectual capabilities receive equal opportunities, respect, acknowledgement and recognition. So it's quite fair that a young budding professional, professional with immense passion and drive is giving us an education session on the three Ds of TEDx. We look forward to a wonderful session and I request the audience is to send me your questions on private chat on Zoom. Kindly do not send on general chat as this will distract everyone. At the end of the speech, I will share some of the, your questions with our speaker. Kindly welcome, welcome with huge applause, the Toastmaster Sai Deepakji on the virtual platform. Over to you, Toastmaster Sai Deepak. Thank Sai, you. sorry. Thank you so much, Suman Mishra, Dr. Suman Mishra. Uh, please allow me to share my screen for and all right um once you get the screen on the slide please let me know yes am i audible am i visible clearly and audible yes yes yeah so this is my thing title, three days of TEDx. Disclaimer, it's my way of TEDx, my way to TEDx. Let me start by showing you. And this is my one myself, myself, Toastmaster Venkar. I've been a Toastmaster from since three years. And I've been to the TEDx in the month of Jan 2024, this year. And currently, I'm serving as Area A1 Director in District 19, Toastmasters International. Happy to be here. And thank you, Eloquent LX Toastmasters Club, for accepting, for calling me and letting me give you the opportunity to serve you as a speaker. Now, this is what you're aiming for, right? When you see this picture, and I want answers from different people, what do you get in your mind? What is the one word it gets in your mind? Come on, speak. All right. Okay. I want answers from people. I don't pick people. So please answer. Anybody can answer. For me, it is a dream platform. Dream platform. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Toastmaster Sumanth, Mr. What do you think? Leaders speaking on the podium. Yes, leader speaking on the podium. Now, if you ask me what is for me, any guesses? What is it for me? Any guesses? No? Empowering the by being a leader. Correct. Right. For me, if you ask me what is it, TEDx, a path to the change, a path to impact. That's what it's for me. I believe when I go to TEDx, it impacts. Not 100 people, not 99 people, not 80 people, 1% people. 
if one person people get impacted, I am a winner here. That's why I am standing before you here. Because I am a winner. I have been impacted. I impacted one percent of people. When you go to the TEDx stage or when you go to the stage of TEDx, there might be 100 people around you and there might be 99 people who are not listening to you. What do you do on them? Do you go back? Yes? No? No. Right? I don't go back. But there is one person who is listening to you. It's enough. You are the winner then. You are giving a humorous speech contest in your Toastmasters in cancer. All cameras are off. What do you do? Do you see? No, no, no. I don't give you a speech contest. You judge. I'll go back. Do you do that? No. no. You speak. Because you see that there is people who are listening to your story. People who are listening to your speech. That's how the TEDx is. In my speech, when I gave my speech, there are huge 60 people, 70 people sitting, 60, 70 students sitting around me. And there's a light which is coming straight into my eyes. I can't see anybody. But I continue with my speech. I continue with what I want to say. Because I say that there might be 70 people who are speaking. But one person in that 70 people will listen to my speech. And what did, what did happen after that? After my speech? I'll tell you afterwards. Be with that surprise. Now, when I said the first word TEDx, I said already, it's for me the path to impact. My journey to TEDx started in the year 2019. I attended the first step method to public speaking workshop by Pavin Wadleka. He's my communication coach. Gratitude to him. Continue my journey with Previn Wadlaker for two years. What a grip on communication skills by attending sessions and recorded lectures. Then here in the year 2021, came to Toastmasters. Started my journey of communication and leadership. Very fresh. I don't know. I don't didn't take anything from here. In the year 2022, I started my journey with Success Gun, one of the most sophisticated and brilliant organizations which I ever worked. Attended the training pro programs around India till 2023. Train the trainer, million mind intensity, all the things which have given me a lot of knowledge. Now here comes the TEDx journey starts from the mid-year of 2021 till Jan 2024, 29th Jan 2024. I applied around 150 applications to TEDx. Remember that word 150? It might be looking small for you. It might be looking very big for you. But there are people who applied 400 applications, 500 applications, but they didn't dig it right till now. You know what's the reason? It's not that they have a good story. There's, it's not that they don't have a good story. It's not that they don't have a good speech. It's the spirit. It's a competition in the outside world which is having for this speech, TEDx stage. Right? It's the intention in the people where they want to stay, share their story. That's why it says TEDx, word sharing ideas. My idea which I said, it's worth. In further slides, I'll let you know what idea did I say and what can you say. Now, while I'm giving my speech or while I'm giving my session, I want you to take a pen and paper and start forming a template for your TEDx. Start forming a template. It will be very rough, but start doing that. Start writing that. Whatever you get in your mind when I'm saying, start doing that. And on Jan 31st, 2024, my TEDx speech has been completed. Congratulations to myself. So this is my journey to TEDx. Your journey might be starting right now. But it will be there. Now, my coach and my mentor, Revin Wadlega, founder of Speak and Grow Family. Gratitude and thank you so much, Previn, for having me and making me go to TEDx. That's how I started. Thank you so much. How it all started? My first impromptu speech. It was in the year March. First impromptu speech. 
You all want to know what speech did I give in the impromptu? First speech, how was I and how was the Let me show you the video. Uh, give me a moment to do that. Sorry. So when you see that speech, you might get shocked. Is it Venkat? Correct? But it was me. Let me know once you can see the screen. Can you see the screen? It was my table topics, as we call in Toastmasters. Listen to that. Okay. I'll get you a topic. Yep. When was the last time you felt lucky. When was the last time you felt lucky? Just give me 30, 30 seconds. Take your time. Yeah. So the when I was the last time when it was I felt lucky. So I am I will relate this question to the sad family only. So because I have got the host role uh, first time when in the SAC family when many 1400 participants are there I got the host role first time and the provincial was killing when I, I thought many would say when I would couldn't handle the situation better so I felt that at, at that time lucky because because I'm still a learner I'm a student because many are here like uh, learning learning from uh, age of 50 or 40 but I'm learning from age of 17 so I felt lucky that I got a uh, role in the SAC family or around 1500 people in front of many people who are who are sitting here and watching me and assessing my feedback and getting a uh, getting a thing which I which helps me. So I felt lucky that I got a host role first time in the skill day program of skill day nine it was. So I felt lucky at that time because it's a very great opportunity to, to enhance our skills, to enhance my skills, and to get a uh, to get a great good feedback where where I can improve myself and to get uh, to which helps me to um, uh, improve my future, excel my future in future in future things. So I felt lucky at that time, and from that time lucky, I'm getting the host roles again and again and again. So that luckiness continues in my SAG family. I just thought so. So this was the last time when I felt like it. Thank you. What do you mean? So yes, this was my first uh, impromptu speech challenge. How many of you felt it was very new? Raise your hands. It was very new. Do you, can you compare me from there here now? Can you see the difference? What difference you see? <laughs> Let me know. Any comments? Uh, confidence. 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 All right. Any other? The assertiveness in the speech. Okay. The tone. Mm -hmm. Body language. Okay. Any other ones? Uh, Tosmas Jyoti, do you want to say something? You are more comfortable and there is more poise in the way you are speaking. Uh, the rate of speech, all of it shows that now you have become a more competent speaker. Uh, yes. That's how it's The confidence has gone up. Yes. That confidence will actually will go up. It automatically will go up when you practice. The reason I showed you this video, because you should know where it all started for me. And you should get that belief in yourself now that I can also do. When I am able to do, you can also do. If I am a champion, if I am a TEDx speaker, you are a champion, you are also a TEDx speaker. Believe in that. Don't say that I'm a learner. I don't know nothing. Don't. Don't lose yourself. Believe in yourself. It might take 600 applications to reach you. But believe might take 10 years to reach you from now. But believe, sometime or other, you will get that. You say, I'm a winner. Full form of TEDx. Technology is for a knowledge purpose. There's nothing to learn in this. P for technology, E for entertainment, D for design. Can somebody guess what is, 
what is x is for? It's a mini x version of TEDx. Mini version of TEDx. Nice one. I didn't hear this. Okay, fine. Anybody else? X factor. X factor. Yes, I got this answer from last time also. Yeah. Anybody else? Okay, let me read. Stand for excellence. Is there a local gathering or local team or? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Very near. Okay. Independently organized TED event. It's an independent organization. That's it. There's nothing to remember. But just for knowledge purpose, we all said TEDx, TEDx. But what is that? It's full form. We don't need to know. Now, this sort I showed you three Ds of TEDx. First D, dream. How many of you are from the HR business management side? Raise your hands. All right. If you are from that way, you could have listened these things in your HR team or business team or when you're doing projects. But I'm putting that same thing. If you listen that, I'm putting that same thing in the TEDx, which I have done. Dream. Second thing. Design. What is the third D? Do. Dream, design, deliver. Now, step one. We go step by step. And by the way, uh, timer, if anybody has a timer, after 35 minutes of time, please let me know that you show a red card so that I can speed up my things. Whoever is the timer, uh, just put up in the chat box at 35 minutes is done. So first step one, dream. Identify your vision. You need to identify that vision. In under identify vision, first step, find your purpose. What is the purpose you are giving for this speech? If you don't have the purpose in the speech, there's no need of giving a speech also. Second thing, set up your goal. The goal. Why are you giving this speech? What do you want to achieve by giving this speech? The goal. Next, TEDx mission. Match it. You need to match the TEDx mission. Now, can somebody guess? Any guesses from any Toastmaster, any member in this meeting? What is a TEDx mission? Any guess? Why are we having so many TEDx sessions or TEDx stages? And what is the mission of we are doing at TEDx? Any guess? Any this is communication, communication skills to be enhanced. Oh, 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 better. All right. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Any answers? Whatever you get in your mind, there's nothing right or wrong. A powerful takeaway. Okay. Fine. Anybody else who wants to answer, or should I reveal it? Okay. So before I go to the TEDx mission, what was my TEDx purpose? When I give my TEDx speech purpose. Because I wanted to know my TEDx speech purpose so that you can do your speech purpose right now if you have a title ready. So this was my TEDx purposes. First, there were three purposes in my TEDx post. Emphasizing the importance of instilling a sense of professionalism and career readiness in the young individuals. Second, catering to the country's requirements, the duty of every vigilant citizens. Fourth, third, the importance of inculcating this tendency in the young generation as a young age, along with the skill of public speaking and legal intelligence. So this is what speech purpose. That's why I said in before slide, purpose, goal, and TEDx mission. You need to have these three. When you don't have these three, you can't move forward. It might take a long time to set up all these three, but this is a very important step in, by moving forward. This was my three purposes. What was you, What is your purpose? It might be one purpose only. It might be two purpose. It might be five purposes. But what is your purpose? Why are you giving that? Why did you choose to give that purpose? How did it, how can it make impact to the people? So define your purpose. This is a TEDx mission. Can somebody read out from me the TEDx mission, which is highlighted? Any Toastmaster? 
anybody can read out it for me discover and spread ideas that spark conversation deepen understanding and drive meaningful changes change yes so toastmaster sumanth when you read that what did you understand any understanding word uh, yes. or anybody who got understanding what it, it does mean Sorry? Initiating dialogues. Initiating dialogues. Yes, you are nearby. Close. Anybody else? Try that. Try. No, it's nothing. I want that engagement from yourself so that I can be more precise to you. And work your way towards translating that into action. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. Anybody else wants to attempt? Try. Um, I think uh, one is like conversations such as te TEDx. You know, uh, sometimes show you the ground reality. So, mm -hmm. uh, when they speak about the point, you know, that it is to drive meaningful change. I feel TEDx helps you understand the ground realities of certain situations, and then uh, people, you know, can come up with appropriate solutions after such discussions. So, correct. I appreciate that. That was a very good, wonderful. Anybody else? Yes, Girija, you want to say something? You are being muted, unmuted. Yes. Yes. Uh, there is a lot of alignment between your mission and the TEDx mission because you want to reach out to the youth and equip them for future success and national development. Your goal is so big. So, TEDx has a huge impact. And so, you will be able to deepen the understanding of the youth through that. So Correct. the impact will increase and a generation of ideas will help you connect and influence Correct. people. Yes. So now let's read our mission together. To cultivate professionalism, career readiness, public speaking, and legal intelligence in the youth to equip them for future success and national development. Now what was TEDx mission? Spread the idea, the spark conversation. My idea is was to cultivate the professionalism and career readiness from the in the youth from the age of 20. So this will spark the conversation in the youth that we need to also be ready, professionally ready. We need to also be career ready. We need to also be ready with the public speaking. We need to have that intelligence in the legal field. And drive meaningful change. This sparking the conversation will have a change, will have an impact in future together. So what was what is your mission if you want to give a speech in a TEDx? Discover that. What is your mission? It might be two lines, three lines, five lines, but it said to have a meaning. If there is no meaning in your mission, no speech. Whether it might be having very good stories, whether it might be having very good morals, but the mission, the goal, the purpose is important. Moving forward, audience. As I'm saying, three things you need to see. Who do you want to reach? What problems do they face? And how can you how can your idea solve them? These are the three things you need to see. Now, what was me? Let us see. My audience. Who do I want to reach? All the young professionals, minds, and students who wanted to be professionally ready. What problems do they face? Face, fear, clear thought, and clarity of mind. How can my idea solve them problem? My idea can give them a way and path how to structure their actions in the future readiness. This is my audience. What is your audience? Your audience can be doctors, your audience can be engineers, your audience can be mother, father, anybody. Or your audience can be political. Your audience can be something which is business management, HR field, whatever you feel, that is your audience. But your audience should be very specific, not in larger context, but don't say society. So society is a broader view. Be specific in your audience, choosing your audience. Now, step two, second D of the three Ds, design. These are the steps you need to see. 
you need to craft a narrative. You have to have an effective storytelling. Master the public speaking. Visualize your presentation. And lastly, practice. Let's go step by step. First, what did I do? Narrative. In the step of narrative. I started with few questions, asking questions to the people, asking questions to the audience. They might not answer, but you need to have that pause. That's what you're learning in Toastmasters, right? When you ask the questions, you might take a pause or there might be a response from the audience. Two ways. Second, I had stories, I had learnings. Third, challenge. I had a challenge. I had achieved that. This was a narrative for me. What was what is your narrative? You might have stories, you might not have challenges, you might not have achievements, but you might have a moral to say. You might have a vision to say. So what is that you want to do? In the, under storytelling, we have three tips. Usage of anecdotes and metaphors, visualization of feeling, engagement or engrossment. Thank you, Bija. I'll speed up my things. So you need to use you need to use anecdotes and metaphors while you're doing visualization. Visualize. You, the audience should feel when you're saying the speech. They need to feel your speech. Engrossment or engagement. They need to be engrossed. They need to be hooked. That's what the evaluators in your Toastmaster said, right? You you when you ask questions, when you ask questions in your speech, the audience are hooked to your speech. That's why it hooked to your speech. So that engagement, that engrossment should be there. Again, mastering the public speaking, you need to visualize your presentation and lastly, practice it. Practice as many times as you, as you can. Step three, deliver. I say delivery is equal to impact. I say this very in very important sense and very precisely, and I believe in so much delivery equal to impact. Why I say that? How did I deliver? Starting with question, setting up the context, telling the personal stories. What did I learn from each situation? What did I do for being professionally ready? And at last, giving them a challenge. This is what I did. So what will you do? How did? How do you deliver your speech? See that you have a precise that you have that structured, you have that ready beforehand. And here's the finale, grand fin. Dream, design, tell you. Dream of your speech. You need to dream. Design. Design your speech. Structure your speech. Then deliver. When you deliver, you get impacted. When you deliver with that impact when you deliver with the action, storytelling, all those things will make an impact. That's why I said delivery equal impact. Thank you so much, everyone, for giving me this opportunity. And now it's time to take back to the questions. Back to Toastmaster of the day, uh, Dr. Samantha Mishra. What a fascinating, fantabulous, spellbinding session by Toastmaster Venkat Sai. Kudos to you for presenting such an excellent, engaging speech. You showed us the three dimensions to any achievement, dream, deliver, design, and deliver. Each one of us is unique and life, life has taught us invaluable lessons. Let us channelize them. Surely many of us, many of us has been inspired by your presentation today by your speech as well as your book. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Venkat Sai. I Thank think I, I look for questions now. Most of your presentation, did you see? Still, I haven't got any, any questions. Did you see? I have sent one to you. If you can see it on the Zoom chat. Yeah, let see. Otherwise, I can read it out. What yeah, was the topic of this presentation? Okay, sorry, I didn't hear that. Then we can model. The question is, what was the topic of his presentation? Did he receive mails or responses for his speech? 
which gave him any action points okay so what was the topic first let me go step by step what was the topic of my presentation this topic was being professionally ready for the young minds of the young minds did i receive any mails or what was the second part can i can you repeat yes did you receive yeah. any mail or responses that okay. give you some action points so Later. all this i have prepared the speech i have prepared the uh, my title of the speech it's not because i received mails it's not because somebody has told me to do that it's, it's that i feel people should know that i feel people should be ready the young minds should be ready young students should be ready from that it's not somebody some people told me some person told me and they received mail me that you need to deliver this speech or you need to do that no no uh, sorry if might be my question was not clear i said after you delivered this speech in response to the speech did the listeners send you any mail for example if i you are talking to uh, to me about being professionally ready if i have some challenges as a reader did anybody write to you so that it will give you action points how to impact the youth did All you right. thank you for that i forgot that after the speech i gave my tedx there were 10 people approaching me and saying venkat i heard you and i got inspired that's it. and it's like a celebrity thing they took pictures with me and i was shy little shy to take that because it was just a speech it's not something big i did that's a winner i am a winner there hope oh, answered you answered i answered your question with you thank you that's it thank you so much thank you very much just master venkat sai for your detailed analysis and do we have more questions or we should proceed for the next session all right so after this engaging and lightning speech from just master venkat sai we have the another session coming up the session which we all are waiting the excom installation session and to do the excom installation i would like to invite another special dignitary the area director toastmaster jyoti pillai ji he is a business owner for world class fmcg products a passionate toastmaster and currently vice president membership at god bandar toastmasters club thane toastmaster jyoti pillai enjoys reading swimming and helping others achieve more than they believe they can so with warm applause kindly welcome our area director toastmaster jyoti ji on the virtual podium please over to you please thank you for those wonderful words i hope i am audible and visible yes loud and clear thank you thank you president for giving me this opportunity for installing the executive committee without spending wasting much time let me start the installation ceremony any installation so in ceremony yeah sorry carry on carry on sorry yeah so we will give the intro of the role players all the roles the excom officers and you will invite them on the podium for the installation yeah, thank you i'll be calling please. i'll be calling them one by one so first and foremost any installation ceremony starts with calling for the earlier executive committee and uh, informing them the wonderful work they have done and telling them all this time you are done a wonderful job and now you are discharged from all your duties and responsibilities and thank you for that now coming to the present i am here to install the new officers of eloquent alive those masters club briefly state to respond i'll be briefly stating the responsibilities and remind them the challenges each one of the respective places the collective challenges of this club one of the best 
in Toastmaster International is their objective. This will involve helping the members achieve their goals as well as leading the club. So the president distinguish club status in the coming year. Each officer is obligated to attend monthly club executive committee meeting, attend club officers training held twice a year, prepare a successor for his or her respective office. I will now describe the challenges and the key responsibilities for each officer they are starting with Sergeant at Arms. So let me invite Toastmaster Sumant Mishra. Toastmaster Sumant Mishra, I'll request you to keep your right hand on your chest. As a Sergeant at Arms, your, you will arrange everything that is required for an online meeting as this is, is an online meeting and every online meeting must have the Zoom the payment to be made, the Zoom arrangements to be done. So you ensure that the Zoom platform is well equipped. At the same time, you'll be helping the president make sure the meeting begins on time. And it is also very important that you greet your guest. Sergeant at Arms, Suman Mishra, will you perform these duties to the best of your abilities? Please repeat, I will. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Now let me call the treasurer. Deepak Deshpande, as a treasurer, please keep your hand on your chest. You keep financial records and prepare the club budget. Announce when it is time for members to pay dues. Explain the dues structure to members. Collect dues. Work with secretary to ensure that the club submits dues promptly on time to the Toastmaster International World Headquarters. <laughs> Treasurer, Toastmaster Deepak Deshpande, will you perform these duties to the best of your abilities? Yes, I will. Thank you. Now let me come to the third executive committee role. The secretary, Toastmaster Sukanya Ayer. As a secretary, I request you to keep your hand on your chest. And as secretary, you maintain accurate membership roster and attendance. Submit the new club officers list to Toastmaster International by June 30th. Work with the treasurer to ensure that new member application and use get to Toastmaster International World Headquarters as soon as possible. Work with the treasurer to submit your club's renewal dues to Toastmaster International. Provide the club with minutes of each meeting. Secretary Toastmaster Sukanya Ayer, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you. Now let me call on stage Vice President of Public Relations, Toastmaster Dheeraj Deshpande. Please keep your right hand on the chest. As Vice President of Public Relations, you attract visitors to the club and through free public publicity, use a variety of means to promote the club in the community or organization. Enlist your fellow club members 
impure activities, providing them with promotional materials and ideas for inviting guests. Regularly recognize members' achievement with methods such as announcements, newsletters, emails, and articles that you submit for the newsletter. Toastmaster Deeraj Deshpande, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you. Now let me call on stage Vice President <laughs> Membership, Toastmaster Harish Natarajan. Please keep your right hand on your chest. As Vice President Membership, you lead the club's membership building efforts to achieve the membership goals of eight new members, while the PR, Vice President Public, and Vice President Public Relation motivates people to visit your club. You motivate the current members to invite guests, promptly give new members application and dues to the secretary and treasurer, Personally greet guests and provide them with guest packets, including a membership application. Make sure each guest hears about the benefits of Toastmaster and gets a personal invitation to become a member. Represent your club at area council meetings. Toastmaster Harish Natarajan, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you. Now let me call on stage Vice President Education, Toastmaster Abhishek Kumar. Please keep your hand on the chest. As a Vice President Education, gain commitment from members to set educational goals for themselves. Assure that club members are aware of the schedule of meeting roles, plan meetings that will assist members in meeting their goals, work with the club members to keep meetings fun and well run, work with your members to ensure that they submit their applications for educational awards promptly, provide for educational topics at club meetings such as those from the successful club series and better speaker series, represent your club at an area council meeting. As the second highest ranking officer, preside over the meeting when the president is absent. Toastmaster, Vice President of Education, Abhishek Kumar, will you perform these duties to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you. Now let me call on stage the president, Toastmaster Girinja Desh Pandey. Madam President, please keep your hand on the right side. As president of Eloquent Allied Toastmaster Club, you are the chief executive officer. Thus, you provide at all club meetings and all meetings of the club executive committee, you preside on them. It is your challenge to see that the club adds new members and meets the needs of its current members to achieve their communication and leadership goals. Establish a club climate and that is supportive, stimulating, and rewarding for its members, realize that among the resources available to you are fellow club members, club officer team, club officer's handbook, area director, division director, the district 30 website, all other district officers. Madam President, Toastmaster Kirija Deshpande, you hold the symbol of power and authority that your club has given you during your term of office. I'm confident that you will 
if wisely and with restraint, Toastmaster Girida Deshpande, as a member of Eloquent Ally Toastmaster Club, as well as leader, will you work with your executive team and club members to make Toastmaster to make the club Eloquent Ally Toastmaster Club a President Distinguished Club this year? Thank you. Eloquent Ally Toastmaster Club members request you to stand. Your officer team has just pledged to the service that this club, the best of the abilities, to be the best Toastmaster club possible and to meet the needs of all members, your club will need active participation from each member. Do you as members pledge to work together with your officers team to make Elegant Ally Toastmaster Club, the finest Toastmaster Club in it can possibly be. We will. Thank you. By the authority you visited to me as your area director, it is my sincere pleasure to declare these Toastmaster officers installed in their respective club offices. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to the Eloquent Ally Toastmasters Club executive team for the Toastmaster year. Thank you. Over to you, presiding officer. Thank you very much, Area Director, for the XCOM installation ceremony and extensive, extensive pledges. Now, as per the agenda, I would like to do a brief intro of the XCOM team of TM, our Toastmasters Club, before we hear the President's acceptance speech and Area Director's address and later on vote of thanks. So, the XCOM installation started with the introduction to Sergeant at Arms, which, who is me. Dr. Sumant Mishra, already our esteemed president, Toastmaster Girija, explained about me, so it's an honor. Now, moving on to our treasurer, Toastmaster Dr. Deepak Deshpande. Dr. De Deepak Desh Deshpande is working as chief human resource officer and chief growth officer at Soft Polynomials Private Limited. Dr. Toastmaster Deepak is a veteran HR professional, and he has worked over 30 years of industry experience having worked at Entity, TCS, Lassen and Tubros, Datamatics, Blue Star and Trigon, to name a few. Toastmaster Deepak has several academic qualifications, MSc Electronics, MPhil, MBA, and holds a PhD degree in management besides many other professional degrees in HR and management. Another, our immediate past president and secretary Toastmaster, Dr. Sukanya Ayer, she is one of the inspiring personalities here and keep inspiring us all with her role as a mentor as well. She's an academician, blogger, social service and political activist, key advisory role at Bharatiya Yuva Shakti Trust, National Mentor Pellen, National Advisory Council of G100, and a senior mentor of Atal Incubation Center at Ram Bhau Prabodhini, awarded by UAE, Consulate for Women Empowerment for three consecutive years, 2021 to 2024, and awarded by Mumbai Police Commissioner Zone 10 for COVID-19 Warrior. Awarded by Skills Foundation as Women Achiever for her contribution towards skill development of women entrepreneurs and distribution of eco-friendly sanitary napkins throughout India and installation of sanitary napkin vending machines in police station throughout OI region and in the world's largest slum at Dhobighat, Mumbai. She has been imparting sanitary hygiene for all slum children throughout India and teaching Sanskrit to slum children. Toastmaster Dr. Sukanya Ayer's life story is covered by author Sambhavi in the book titled as Aura, and which is available on Amazon. So kudos to our Secretary Toastmaster Dr. Sukanya Ayer. Moving on to our VP, P. 
PR, Public Relations, Toastmaster Dheeraj Deshpande. Toastmaster Dheeraj is a communication designer and he has been a co-founder of Half But Full, a solopreneur at Identify by and a strategist in branding and an editor with Publixis Group. He has worn different hats from being the eager intern to diving into entrepreneurial world and then the corporate world. Now thriving as a senior graphic designer, Toastmaster Dheeraj Deshpande has been a Rotary president and is now a Rotarian. Also, we have the dynamic VB membership, Toastmaster Harish Natarajan, who is an IT engineer with three years of experience in developing and deploying artificial intelligence applications on the cloud. Toastmaster Harish has led the team of three individuals in all India level Manthan National Security Hackathon 2021 to victory, victory for the problem statement face recognition at varied angles in live CCTV to detect criminal suspects. Toastmaster Harish is passionate about computer vision and robotics. He loves reading books and singing. He would be pursuing his MS degree in artificial intelligence from the reputed Queen Mary University of London. Um, I'm also an alumni of the same university. So congratulations, Harish, Toastmaster Harish Natasha, and wish you good luck in your future endeavors. Also, it's my privilege to briefly describe our dynamic VP education, Toastmaster Abhishek Kumar, who is still on the journey. Last time also I invited him some, to some Toastmasters meeting and now also he, I see him on journey and this is the speaks about his sacrifice towards the Toastmaster, a servant Toastmaster officer. Toastmaster Abhishek is an avid learner with high orientation towards sustainable living and spiritual thriving. He often indulges in philosophical thoughts and loves discussing them with people around him. Toastmaster Abhishek is currently pursuing his postgraduate degree and plans to pursue PhD in future. Good luck for him. In his free time, Toastmaster Abhishek likes to pedal his bicycle. During the day, whenever he gets free time, Toastmaster Abhishek utilizes it to meditate and be aware of the universal reality. Toastmaster Abhishek is extremely creative and goes the extra mile. Kudos, Toastmaster Abhishek, best wishes in your future endeavors. Our sole dynamic personality. Now our president, Toastmaster Girija Deshpande ji, I already spoke briefly about her, but some more interesting details about her can be added here. Toastmaster Girija Deshpande was vice president education and vice president membership of all elite advanced Toastmasters club as well. Toastmaster Girija is co-founder and counselor of Eloquent Elites Gavel Club. In 2023, she won the Outstanding Toastmaster of the Year Award. Toastmaster Girija is the coach for City Speakers Wilshire Club from California. Kudos and good luck in your future endeavors. Now, I would like to get this privilege to invite our, Toastmaster, our President Toastmaster Girija Deshpande to deliver her acceptance, acceptance speech. Over to you, Toastmaster. Girija, on the virtual podium, podium, we warmly applaud and welcome you. Thank you very much, Dr. Sumanth, again for that very warm introduction. As our area director, Jyoti Pillai, mentioned, the most important duty of a president is to see that the present members are satisfied and you enroll future members because of the word of mouth experiences of the present members. That is when it works. It is said that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So if you go by your topic that you have chosen for the day, diversity, equity, then we have to see what exactly is the problem that a member faces in attending a meeting, in participating in projects, in presenting a speech, how can we help him do that so that he participates more? In order to be capable like that, I requested mentor, 
personally my mentor. Here he is here. Our DT district toastmaster, distinguished toastmaster, Renosh Thomas. I thought he's traveling. He won't be able to join. I'm so very happy that he's here and I saw him. So I requested him to guide me because personally he attends meeting. We have been doing joint meeting with their club with from Bahrain for the last one year. So he knows every member. So we decided that we'll work together so that we understand what are the pain points that prevents members from attending and giving their whole and soul to Toastmasters. Because ultimately it is in their own interest to do it. Like we said that they sharpen their skills and they become ready to face the world. And that is what we want everybody to do with confidence. So I, toast, distinguished Toastmaster Renard Thomas has actually um, started St. Paul Toastmasters Club. He was the founder and he's also a member of uh, um, Academy um, from uh, Toastmasters from Bahrain. And he has been shuttling to different countries, traveling to different countries in his role as um, a telecom engineer. And he has really been great guidance to all of us. So I request him to say a few words before we go further. This is not in the agenda, but I'm going off the agenda and I'm requesting him since he's here to say just a few words of blessing and guidance. Thank you. Madam President, what I would suggest is, you know, it's your stage, it's it's your acceptance speech. Let the limelight be on you for now. Once you hand over to the TMOD, I'll speak. It's your moment of time. Give your acceptance speech and then I'll take it up from there later. Thank you. Thank you for that guidance. So uh, I accept this role as president and I will definitely, as I said, find out what are the weakest links and see that there are no weakest, no weak link and every link is strong and every member contributes to the club and every member feels proud to be a member of the club. This is my commitment to the club and over to you, Toastmaster Dre Sumit Mish. Thank you very much. We look forward to inspiring sessions from all of us in future. And now, without much ado, I would like to pass on the virtual podium to our dynamic area director, Toastmaster Jyoti Pillaiji, to address us with his inspiring messages. Over to you, area director, Toastmaster Jyoti Ji. Thank you, Toastmaster, so much. I joined Toastmaster in the year 2018 for a club called as Goldbunder Toastmaster Club. As on today, we have got 52 members. The strength of the club depends upon how the activities of the club are conducted, how disciplined they are. I want the success that we have received reached in Goldbunder Toastmaster Club to reach to everywhere it is possible. Whenever I attend any session, I give the maximum importance to the mission statement because that carries the maximum weightage. It says we provide a positive and learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. In one word, if you ask me, what I gain from Toastmasters, it is my self-confidence. I wish each and every member perform their duties and reach a level where we have good amount of strength, good amount of members joining Elegant Elite Toastmaster Club. As an area director, I had the purpose of conducting my first area director visit but I don't want to do it now. I want to keep it for a session where I want to see the Eloquent Allied Toastmaster Club perform the entire session, starting from the prepared speeches, table topics, and the general evaluation, which will give me an idea as to how the club is performed. With this, I would like to thank the president for giving me this opportunity. Over to you, Tio Modi, Dr. Suman Mishra. Sincere gratitude. Thanks a million, Area Director Toastmaster Jyoti Pillaji, for your motivational address to all of us. 
by its very format, Toastmaster embraces people of people of diverse cultures and backgrounds. With this online format today, we have people participating from our Toastmasters participating from Chicago, Texas, UAE, Bahrain, our mentor, Goa, Bangalore, Pune, Mumbai, myself from Kuwait, and many others. Excuse me if I miss the areas. The value of respect, integrity, services, and excellence that Toastmasters International inculcates in all of us, the members, drive us to be more empathetic towards those members who need more support. And this ensures equity. Youth are seniors, those who establish as brilliant and those who are yet to discover their brilliance, single, married or divorced, economically privileged or deprived. Everyone finds support, friendship, encouragement and inspiration in our Toastmasters International. Long live Toastmasters International. Before I pass on the virtual podium to our dynamic president, Toastmaster Grija Ji, I would like to call upon the virtual podium, our ever dynamic, the mentor of our club, DTM Renosh, who keeps a low profile. And But trust me, guys, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters and guests, he's the one who works in the background incessantly 24 seven. And he's always there whenever we need his kind support and his membership. With warm applause, kindly welcome our club mentor, DTM Renosh on the budget program, please. Thank you, Toastmaster Day, Madam President, and all the Toastmasters present here, recognizing the presence of the area director, Toastmaster Jyoti Pillai as well. I think it is, it is a blessed moment, auspicious moment, and it leaves me with pride to see the installation ceremony for the XCOM members for the year 2024, 2025. Mm -hmm. If I talk, you all know that I'll speak for a very long time, but I just came out from a program to be present in this meeting because the members over here are very close to my heart, being part of this. And the love and affection that we all show to each other is, is the depth of this Toastmasters Club. I was in a program and somehow it relates to what I'm going to speak today for just one thought I will leave behind for each and every one of us here. This program is for the children and the person who was giving the vote of thanks mentioned a few statistics and that is what I noted down. The number of students that attended the program for the last one week averaged around 650 students. They had around close to 150 teachers, 200 volunteers, and then the parents and the guests. Right now today, I'm coming out from the finale program with close to around 1,500 people attending that event. The person who was on the stage was the general convener. And I wanted to hear him, what was the success behind the seven days of program? I am sure it was not an easy task. It was a mammoth experience. But the one thing he told that I have a team, a team that comprised of seven subcommittees. Dear Toastmasters and the XCOM members, isn't it a coincidence that we have seven members in the XCOM as well? It's not one, not 10, not the hundreds, but each and every person played his or her role to make the outcome successful. So we might not be as big as 1,500 people, but even 10 or five can make a difference. So yes, as, in, as the new XCOM team for the year 2024, 2025, we have a responsibility, we have got challenges, on our shoulders, but let us not forget the reason why we came to Toastmasters. If you remember that, let us spread what we learn, what we understand, share knowledge to others, 
by doing so you will yourself grow to a better human being i wish madam president toastmaster girja desh pande and her new team the youngsters have come in there's a new blood in the team with creativity with passion let's move forward and we hope that this year will be much more better than the prior years and i'm not forgetting the past presidents and those who have played a role in this journey they are also to be applauded to be commended so i recognize their contribution to eloquent elites as well probably they may not be physically present in this meeting but we definitely will remember them just to conclude it's not an individual that will make a difference but it's a team that makes a difference is the dream team that will achieve success all the best over to you tos masuruddin did you realize the adrenaline pumping in your blood what an inspiration short succinct succinct but to the point inspirational and motivational speech by our ever reliable club mentor dtm renosh thank you very much for those inspiring words and we promise our bit as a team as you rightly said team is the one which is more essential and critical so without much ado i would like to pass the virtual baton to our dynamic president who is always cool calm as a cucumber smiling cheesy molar to molar dynamic president just master girija deshpande ji please the podium is yours with warm applause thank you thank you so much dr sumanth uh, you know uh, it was a pleasure to listen to our the very inspiring speech by our area director jyoti pule and again club member a uh, club mentor our distinguished toast master renosh thomas like you said we need to make a difference it can be five people making a difference in the life of one person five people making a difference in the life of 10 people it doesn't matter i just remember the little story where the child is walking along the beach and the child finds jellyfishes swept out by the waves and the child is picking up one by one and throwing them into the water somebody is walking from behind and says what are you doing oh these jellyfishes they'll die i'm throwing them back into the water oh but what difference would you make there are thousands of them you can't throw thousands of them before they die so the child turns back and waits for a minute and the child says may not but those this jellyfish it makes a difference this jellyfish is going to get its life and she throws the jellyfish into the water let us not see the quantity of people who we are going to impact but that we are impacting one life every life matters every person's experience matters so let us do that all together like we have been advised as a team as a team together each one of us achieve more that's it thank you and i adjourn the meeting i'll stop the recording now